guys, Poop Long Way Back. I'm Eric. I'm Melanie. And we are back with Supernatural. Last time we had a, a fun episode with Mary and Bobby and yeah. hunters being hunted. I know. They're setting up traps for these poor hunters. Yes. Which hunters are usually the ones setting up traps and now the hunters are being the hunted. Oh. Oh. So, uh, as of right now, we had a Jin who uh, now was like empowered a little bit more and could touch you and read your minds and stuff and like that. what did he see in Dean? I don't know. I saw some weird stuff in you yesterday or last time we had Supernatural because I looked in your mind and it wasn't good. That's where did uh, Bobby and Mary go for vacation? I don't know, but where did Rowena and Charlie go? I don't know. Who's this chick? I don't know. Hopefully she meets Charlie and Rowena. Mm-hmm. Good episode. Right, had triple. She's not I know. She's been using the live. She's a librarian, Melanie. The worst. No. Sorry, Megan. <laughs> she's a hot librarian. She's, she's missing glasses though, so it doesn't work. <gasps> but she has the outfit. <laughs> you have glasses. You need an outfit like that. Next time, a mailbag. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just uh, just wanted to make sure that we were still on for, you know. Dinner tonight. Aww. Um, oh. Yeah, sure. Oh. Oh. Are you okay? Put the stapler down. There's your redhead. Wow. So lucky. Oh no, he's gonna walk out here and get hit by a bus. <laughs> <laughs> Bus! A little worse than a bus. What? What did that? <laughs> They're probably doing something really exciting. <laughs> Charlie, I'll send him to Tennessee. Sam's just trying to keep you safe, okay? He's a smart guy. <laughs> <laughs> Red Rooster Diner. Ducks. Ducks. Dicks. Ducks? I think it was Dicks. Was it Chicks? This is Winston's favorite spot. Agent Barry, FBI. It's my partner, Agent Charles. I wonder if you could give us some details on the regular <laughs> no. doors. Winston Charles Mavers. Barry. Okay, um, detail number one. I gotta go earn some money. Or you can stay here and earn some money. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. What's courting? Mm -hmm. It's what you do before you start dating. Oh, uh, that's the thing you do before the sex. <laughs> Sometimes you just have the sex. <laughs> Sometimes you just have the Mind sex. Mind blown. Who is Harper Sales? I guess she never met Kara. Kara? She owned a bakery outside of Chicago. Cupcakes. It was like something out of a storybook. <laughs> she always smelled like peaches, and her smile was just... Kara died. Hmm. Well, congrats, Mighty Mouse. I think you found us a case. Thanks. What's Mighty Mouse? <laughs> Look at that eye. Eye is important. Okay, uh, can I ask you about what Wanda said? So about hungry. I promise when we get back home, we'll give you the talk, okay? The talk. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right now, what we gotta find is Harper Sales. Sorry to interrupt. I'm looking for the best book on the area's history. Excuse me. I was talking with her. Really? Because it doesn't look like she wants to talk to you. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Listen, I'm uh... FBI. Yeah, I heard. But see, I haven't done anything wrong, so you can't do anything to me. Okay. <laughs> Don't you back off, kid. No, you back off. Is he in on this too? Yeah. This is a romance novel thing. Old man? Yeah. That's right. Back <laughs> <laughs> off, old man. Okay. All right. oh, I hit him. This isn't over. <laughs> he looked hurt. <laughs> oh my god. That was so chivalrous. So glad this is my last case. I love her so Wait, what? What? I told myself I'd help you out for a while, at least until everyone got really settled, and then I'm out. 
No. No. Do what? To go where? I'll go live in a mountaintop or something. As long as there's good Wi-Fi. Amor. All right. <clears throat> Come in. She is a hopeless romantic. Oh, great. Our perp might just be a <clears throat> giant fly with low self-esteem. Not suspicious at all. Sam? Yeah. What is that? It's a giant fly with low self-esteem. <laughs> Evidently, doesn't want its face to be seen. It's like one of those beehive masks. The Pestinator. That's fine. I promise you the harbor sales is not in love with you, okay? Would you calm down? Okay. But if she is, I need to know everything about sex. Go. Jack, listen to me. The guy that she works with is dead. What is it? That. What is it? Is it on her side, though? It's her boyfriend who turned into a monster and he's seeking revenge. He didn't left. He got turned into a monster and he's hiding. It's like the beast and the beauty. Be and the beast. <laughs> Not a zombie, right? Oh, oh you must be a zombie. Get, get her out of here. I can't just leave. Go now. Archie. Hey. Archie. Let's dance. Why is he wearing exactly what he was wearing then? Because he must have died soon after the picture. <laughs> Why is he in luck? We should get him I don't get this. Nope. Charlie? Sam? What the crap? No. Oh. Ow. Charlie. Ooh. Look at the thing. Yeah. I got my fly. Trip. <laughs> a fly monster. Ugh. She unlocked it. Are they together? Has she been feeding him? What's going on? Aw, sweet. This is your Beauty and the Beast. He's a witch. Yeah, I guess she set a spell. To bring him back to life because she loves her boyfriend so much. Just like the mom that other witches tried to bring back. Maybe. She's right. Oh, Jack. Oh. No. Oh. It's over. Is okay. it gonna burn his hands off? Yeah, they keep him there. Okay. Yeah. Screw the girl. Well, she left him. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, what Jeez. are you gonna do with that? Oh no, bury it. He could have been happy if it stayed with its people. Didn't have to go off on its own just because. Okay, I get it. <laughs> I'm just like the bug, and I shouldn't go out on my own. Just to be super clear, I am not like the fly monster. <laughs> but I'll think about staying. My name is Charlie, Melanie. Yay. I'm happy. Yay. Cafe 50s. <laughs> Jack, I'm already writing. Isn't that crazy? I'm not crazy. Yeah, you are. But our love is so vivid. We're gonna mail it to you. I don't know. So now that Vance is in the grave, he can't hurt anyone? Yeah, <clears throat> so we're staked through the heart. That ought to do the trick. And you should be letting me go out on hunts. Okay. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> you're gonna make mistakes. Hell, I make them all the time. But it's how you handle yourself once you've made those mistakes. And you learn from them. And... How to not beat yourself up with it. 
<laughs> wow, way to turn that back. For both of them. You know, Jack, you're pretty smart sometimes. <laughs> <coughs> okay, cough and blood so we can oh, see it. I know. Cough it oh, up, please. please. <coughs> That's not normal. Oh. Oh no, we had to get it so bad. Damn it, Jack, what why'd you is tell going us? On? episode. This is pretty good. I like the little necromancer thing. I don't think we've had like a necromancer. Remember the twin witches? Yeah. Wasn't she a necromancer? Not not those two twins. That weird house that they were in. They did something where like they turned wicker things into people. Into but I don't straw. think it was like a necromancer. They like, took their heart and I don't know. It was weird. This thing here was interesting. I mean she got away too. Mm-hmm. So I wonder if that's going to come back into being something else. I wonder if those, that letter will ever make it to Jack. Yeah, I don't know. Is it really a Lebanon? Uh, Lebanon, Kansas? Kansas. Yeah, that's where, uh, is that where their bunker is or is that where Sam and Dean are from? It's one of the two, I think. Mm -hmm. And we had Charlie and Sam. Yes. I think they're fun because I, I like their little, uh, you know, they're, they're both like bookwormy characters. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like they're not... Like, they're researchers. They're yeah. like the the oracle of the situation. Yeah. Like they find the information, they relate the information. She's looking up the information. He's already read the information, you know, so. Yeah. They can talk about new creatures and stuff, which we had a whole new creature. i positive we never had a fly monster before. A muska? Yeah, a muska. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, I don't remember a muska, but it was a lot of fun. And her talk of um, her previous love and that. Kara. I think it was. Or Kara. Kara or something. Like yeah. Yeah. So that was fun. And then I'm like, that, just the delivery of what had happened previously in the previous world, the apocalypse world. Like, I was like, yes, this had to have been her audition to stay on the show. You know, like the writers wrote this for her, for her to deliver these lines. And if you do a good job, we're going to keep you, Miss Day. We're going to keep you. And this, all this. Yes. All of her here this season, last season, must have been after her baby. Her baby's like two. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, you were watching me, I was where you were like, look. No. So, I don't know. I don't the timeline doesn't line up. She was a very cute pregnant lady in that show, though. <laughs> I love that show. So, it's nice to see her back because she was gone for a long time. I wonder if they got rid of her around the time that she was gonna be having a baby maybe no they got rid of her i can't remember when she died oh why it was the nazi ago. people remember that which that was necromancy there i guess right and they raised some kind of giant dead guy is that what happened i remember her no he was like a golem yeah 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 he was like a mud golem or something weird yeah that's yeah. right yeah man and that's We're... when we found out her name was really celeste and <laughs> There's, just, there's so many episodes of Supernatural, it's hard to keep track of everything, so. It is. Um, I enjoyed the, uh, I enjoyed Sam and Dean. Did you like Sam and Dean, or did you, or, uh, Jack and Dean, or did you like Sam and Charlie? I mean, I loved seeing both uh, pairs pairing off together, because you have Jack and learning, so he's more head-on, because he doesn't know too much mm -hmm. yet, and Dean is always head-on, you know, dive in head first. Yeah. So, seeing those two paired off with, like you said, before the bookworms. Yeah. So, I can't really compare which couple I liked better because it was the two different I mean, they tactics. Paired, they paired off well. I liked Jack and Dean, I think, more. But I love, like, the conversation, what was going on, and, like, Sam working with Charlie to keep her here and stuff, mm -hmm. and her discussing leaving. And on the other side, you have Jack and Dean who are talking about uh, Michael and how they both felt like it was their fault. But, you know, even though it wasn't their fault, it doesn't make it any easier not to believe it wasn't your fault. I also really enjoyed their uh, romantic novel, like, yeah. trick. Yes. You know, and the whole old man thing and all that. And, like, how Dean looked like he was hurt. <laughs> it hurt. <laughs> the old man thing and it hitting him and, like, him being, like, you know, and walking away, like, looking hurt. I just love that. <laughs> um, I also enjoyed their diner scene, too, being, like, what's courting? 
the thing you do before you date. That's the thing you do before you sex. Like, some of us just have sex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love the waitress that leaned in there. And then he made the comparison to uh, Gabriel and Rowena. <laughs> After that, when Dude. we were sitting down, he's like, oh, you mean like Gabriel and Rowena? Oh, okay. And then he's like, I'll have to give you the full talk later. <laughs> it's like, she loves me. I need to know all about sex now. <laughs> uh, so I enjoyed that, I think. More. I, I, I enjoyed those two. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of like Castiel. You know, he's kind of the same way. So it's that's what I like about it. Like him not knowing anything. You know, when Cast didn't know anything, he would... Also, their names um, was Barry... Officer Barry and Officer Charles. Yeah. Do you know what that was for? No, I knew you laughed for no reason. <laughs> Barry and Charles, if you flip it around, you get Charles and Barry. And what's a short version of saying Charles? Uh, Ray? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Ray. No, not Ray Charles. Charlie? Chuck. Chuck. So Chuck Barry. Like they always have like some kind of like singer or something like that, like in their names. And usually it's like this person's one name for this and this person's one name for this. But this time it was Chuck Barry, which he sang Johnny Be Good. So I just was like, oh, Charles, I just like that. That's funny. Dude, the necromancer lady's crazy. So she killed her boyfriend because he was going to leave to go see the world and college and all that. She killed him so he would stay with her to bring him back from the dead. Then just killed off these other random people just because, like, either she didn't like him or whatever. But he needed to eat flesh in order to continue. Yeah, that is just creepy. Like, I was just hoping it was that redhead, you know, that was yeah. just jealous and wanted yeah, the girl. Like it, and, it? like, you know, he's going to protect her with the stapler. She's like that uh, crazy ex-girlfriend meme thing. You know what I'm talking about? Like, she's the girl with, like, the big eyes. There's memes and there's YouTube videos about her and stuff like that. But here, this is her. We'll never be apart once you're dead. <laughs> that, that's, <laughs> that's her right there. Exactly. It's just, I mean, that wasn't her, but this is the overly attached girlfriend. She has a lot of memes and stuff, but it just reminded me, like, she has these big eyes and stuff. She did a video and stuff. She did a song that was, like, um, it was a parody of uh, If I Was Your Boyfriend, I'd Never Let You Go, right? Mm -hmm. But it was, like, If I Was Your Girlfriend, and it goes into, like, this really creepy kind of, like, stalkery girlfriend kind of thing and stuff, so. Oh, that's <laughs> creepy. <laughs> All right, what'd you do? Did you find anything? Um, Did you find her? She was in a previous Supernatural episode. She's in nothing. Like I said, she's basically like a necromancer version of the overly attached girlfriend meme. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can look her up. She has, I know she has at least a YouTube video song parody of Justin Bieber's uh, If I Was Your Boyfriend. And there's a whole bunch of pictures and stuff of memes and stuff of her. But she's just those big eyes staring at you. So... If I was your girl. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to see more Supernatural, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. And don't forget, while you're here, check out our uh, blindweb.net website where you can see our shop and check out all kinds of cool merchandise like this shirt. Or this shirt. Or maybe a hat. Or the hat. Bye, guys. Ooh. <laughs>